Flyability is a Swiss-based startup that develops cage drones for operating indoors, in complex and confined spaces, and in contact with people. They call their drone Elios. Elios can perform different jobs for different types of customers. In this video, we will show how Flyability chose their initial target market using the Market Opportunity Navigator. The Navigator is a simple and solid framework that helps you to map out your market opportunities and set your strategic focus smartly. It includes three simple steps. Identifying different target markets to generate your market opportunity set, evaluating these opportunities to create your attractiveness map, and prioritizing these markets to set your agile focus strategy. Flyability's team applied the navigator to find their most promising market and make an informed decision so they can move forward with confidence. Their choice turned out to be a winning strategy. Sales grew quickly and inbound requests were flowing in. But before we dive into this process, let's take a closer look on Flyability's drones. So Flyability has one product. Uh, which is a drone uh, which is unique on the market because it has uh, a surrounding protective frame which actually protect the drone from the surrounding environment. Um, so uh, basically the drone uh, can hit an obstacle and keep uh, steady in the air and not crash. But it also is a very unique feature because human can interact with the drone uh, without risk of injuries. The drone can be piloted uh, remotely from, from, uh, from a safe place and this way the operator doesn't need to enter uh, a dangerous space uh, which is actually the place where we want to send a drone for gathering images uh, and, and content uh, about the environment. So with this live stream that the, the drone is sending to the operator uh, you can literally do a remote inspection of a place. Flyability's unique drones can address the needs of different types of customers. So where should they begin building this business? To answer this question, the very first step Flyability's managers needed to do is uncover different market opportunities. Through worksheet one of the Navigator, they applied a structured thought process to help them in this discovery activity. It begins with characterizing the unique elements of their drone as an eye-opener for possible applications and potential customers. For flyability, one key element is, of course, the unique accessibility of the drone. It is tolerant to collisions, it can fly or roll on any surface, and it can operate in a range of temperatures and pressures. The drone also has unique aviation abilities and it carries an automated, fully adjustable imagery system. These unique abilities can perform different jobs, including industrial inspection, infrastructure inspection, and even for security or search and rescue purposes. In fact, each of these applications can serve many types of customers. Industrial inspection in itself can be valuable for power plants, for the oil and gas industry, or for the maritime industry. And so goes on their list of possible customers. Following an initial rough screening, Flyability chose few markets that seemed interesting and required their further evaluation. This market opportunity set can now be depicted on the navigator. It included five options. Inspection of boilers and heaters in thermal power plants. Inspection of nuclear rooms in power plants. Inspection of storage tanks in the oil and gas industry. Vessel inspection in the maritime industry. And lastly, intelligence and surveillance for police forces. But figuring out what type of customers we can address is only the first step. To find out where to play Flyability is needed to assess the attractiveness of each opportunity in their set so they can compare and prioritize options. 
Worksheet 2 of the Navigator provides a comprehensive list of factors to evaluate the overall potential and the overall challenge of each possible market. These clear criteria are extremely valuable because they allow you to be systematic in your evaluation and to make sure you have not missed out on any important consideration. For flyability, this process took several months. Through customer interviews, lean experimentations, and desk research, they validated and invalidated some of their markets. So, to illustrate this process, let's look at how they evaluated one of their market opportunities, the inspection of boilers and heaters in thermal power plants. These huge facilities operate under extreme temperatures and must be inspected periodically in a process that is lengthy and risky. Replacing manned intervention with a collision-tolerant drone can therefore bring significant value to these thermal plants, resulting in a super high, compelling reason to buy. The market volume is also quite high, and so is the economic viability of this opportunity, due to large margins and customers' ability to pay. So, flyability estimated the overall potential of this market as high. As for the challenges in capturing this potential, the firm already had the know-how for developing the drone and estimated both the implementation obstacles and the time to revenue as mid. The external risk seemed low because competition is limited and success is not dependent on other parties. So the overall challenge of this market was estimated somewhere between low to mid. The result of this evaluation can now be summarized on the attractiveness map. A simple 2x2 two two matrix to visually distinguish between opportunities based on their level of potential and level of challenge. This diagram is actually a great way to compare and prioritize different target groups. For flyability, thermal power plants seem to be an attractive market opportunity with high potential and manageable challenge, located in the gold mine quarter of the attractiveness map. The same learning process was applied to evaluate the four other target markets and was then summarized on the attractiveness map. For example, addressing police forces for security purposes seem to be a real moonshot for flyability, while nuclear power plants seemed like a questionable opportunity. At the end of this process, it became clear that inspecting boilers in thermal power plants is the most attractive market at this early stage. So the team decided that this will be their primary focus. But setting a smart strategic focus is more than just choosing the most promising market to pursue. It is also about managing the delicate balance between focus and flexibility, making sure your sharp focus doesn't lock you into one narrow direction. Worksheet 3 helps you to set such an agile focus strategy, that is, Carefully select a smart portfolio of backup and growth options around your primary focus to mitigate risk over time. Keeping these related options open will help you to maintain your agility with minimum effort so you can stay focused. After the team decided to focus on thermal power plants, it seemed that inspecting oil and gas storage tanks and large vessels are interesting growth options to keep open. These quite attractive markets were relatively related to their primary focus, so flyability can leverage existing competencies to succeed in both. Offering intelligence surveillance for police forces seemed to be a suitable backup option, because it was not relying on the same major showstoppers as their primary market. The inspection of nuclear rooms was placed in storage as it was not attractive enough. Finally, flyability strategy was set. It was now possible to depict it on the Agile Focus dartboard, 
which clearly defines the opportunities that you pursue now, the ones that you keep open, and those that you place in storage. Flyability's strategic choice provides a clear roadmap for the firm. It enables them to set the right development priorities, build relevant networks, and design the proper marketing materials. Mark Gandhi of Flyability's marketing manager describes what they learned from this process and how the outcome of this work guided them to success. Since we uh, made this, uh, this uh, initial uh, decision of, uh, of uh, targeting a few markets, uh, it happens that uh, we made the right choice because uh, Boiler and, and Thermal Plan had been uh, our uh, main focus and, and main uh, segment of sales um, since we, we, we uh, launched the product uh, in May 2016. Uh, we came from zero sales to uh, two million in, in, uh, in a few months, which was uh, uh, a real success. And now uh, we see that uh, the word is really spreading around and uh, people talk to each other and we get a lot, lot of, uh, uh, of inbound requests. We actually uh, do pretty much 90% of our sales only with inbound, which is, uh, which is really uh, unique, I think so. Yeah, I think uh, the exercise was, uh, was really uh, helping us to, you know, shoot the right, uh, the, the right target first and then, you know, it's been uh, building up uh, since then. And with the, the next product coming up, it's definitely something we're going to reuse and, you know, also leveraging all the work that we've done in, uh, in the first phase and reusing that for future product. The Navigator is helping thousands of companies around the globe find the right markets at every stage of their growth. You can download the Navigator's worksheets and start identifying, evaluating, and prioritizing your market opportunities today. To learn more how to apply this framework, you can read our book, Where to Play, or sign up to our free online course on edX called find the right markets for your innovation. Visit our website to contact us for a coaching session or to find additional supporting materials.